What's going on YouTube? Y'all already know man, Smooth Kicks in the building, coming at y'all with another fire video. And today, exclusive access for the Thunder Force did you guys hit this morning? I let you guys know on the channel last night that they were going live. Did you guys cop? I almost missed it once again, just like the Court Purple 13 drop. My homie hit me up, hey bro, exclusive access on finish line, you better hurry up. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I definitely fell asleep. I was hoping to stay up in hopes to catch exclusive access in time. But you already know your boy snag four pairs, two men pair two grade schools so we did fry on finish line i was able to cop my personal size as well as a 13 and two sevens let me know in the comment section did you guys hit but today we are here to discuss is it easier to cop sneakers in 2022 so without further ado drop a like on the video subscribe if you are new join the gang but that's enough talking y'all let's go ahead and dive into the video so as y'all can see by the thumbnail of the video we got the court purple 13s sitting up at finish line and not to mention the winterized 14s those released a couple months ago this is crazy this is definitely a controversial topic of conversation is it easier to cop sneakers in 2022 my personal opinion why did i enter a raffle if they were going to be put out on the shelf anyways not to mention i was hearing that multiple finish lines had multiple size runs in these jordan 4 thunders and it's also worth mentioning why is sneakers app going back to a leo drop Honestly, 2021 was crazy. As y'all know, the pandemic, and we are still currently in the pandemic. Hopefully y'all ain't sick. But 2021 was definitely a crazy year, man. As y'all can see behind me, 2021 was a big year. I caught most of my sneakers in 2021. 2022 was no different. I've been cooking up ever since the new year hit. But also the things that I have been seeing lately since 2022 hit has been mind blowing. Exclusive access has actually been switched up. Flex app has been switched up. Flex app, the algorithm change, finish line, they're switching up the times randomly. Flex app, they're starting to let accounts with lower points hit. So I don't know, man. Let me know what y'all think. What is this going to do to the resale market? Are you going to see a lot of sneakers in 2022 remain at a certain resale price? We all know the Jordan 4 Thunders are going to sell out. Those are not going to sit on the shelves whatsoever. But it's just crazy that certain shoes are being shown love to as far as restocking, having extra pairs available. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. It's just a little short video. I just had to get out there. I just went up to finish line this morning just to see what was going on with the Thunder 4s. Honestly, am I surprised to see these sitting on the shelf? No, I am not. These have been restocking in my finish line. At least the winterized 14s have for a minute. This is probably their third restock, at least on this silhouette. The 13s, like I said, I don't even know why I entered a raffle if they were just going to be put out on the show. Honestly, it's just a waste of time, a waste of gas, and it doesn't really live up to the hype of being an exclusive. But that's how the sneaker game goes. You learn a valuable piece of information every single day along the journey. I ain't going to lie, man. Coming in hot 2022 definitely has me worried as far as the sneaker game is concerned. But you already know we still bagging kicks, man. Every single release is here on the channel so if you are not a subscriber to the channel man join the gang leave a like on the video comment down below did you get exclusive access to the thunder fours man even if you did or did not cop man we are still plugging y'all in on the channel so stay tuned for the flex app inhibit raffle video and until then it's been your boy smooth kicks man holla at y'all in the next video Peace out, bro.